All right, our, uh, our next speaker is Roshan Jovanputra. He is the co-founder and lead engineer at SlipCal. Uh, it's an appointment booking and scheduling app that's made with Meteor. Roshan. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Roshan, and I'm one of two engineers on our team of, of five total. And basically, we have been developing over the last year a simple, easy appointment booking solution for small businesses. Um, we started using Meteor, I think, last May, and uh, so far, so good. Everything's been awesome and easy to figure out. Um, so I'm just going to go through and give you guys a quick demo of the app, and uh, hopefully it looks cool. So uh, this is just a static landing page. We're using Nginx to serve this up. That's not Meteor. Um, but first, I'll show you guys what it's like to go into the actual app and pretend you're a customer and go in and book somewhere. Um, so basically, here's our listing of uh, calendars that have chosen to show up on our homepage. And, We'll go down to a test drive calendar. Um, we can uh, pick which kind of activity we want to show. We can like you know pick a photo consultation, a yoga class, training session, and then right here we have um, availabilities that have shown up on this calendar. Um, you know over the next week or two, uh, we can go in right away and book something. Um, you can book as a guest. I'm going to log in real fast just to uh, show you guys for the demo. And where was that one? Oh, this one right here. We're going to book that one. We can write a comment. And we are booked. So basically, you know, now right away, instantly reactive, everything is uh, good to go. And it sends out email confirmations almost instantly. So here you go. Here's an email confirmation saying your appointment's confirmed. And uh, Meteor does all of that. We hook into Mailgun for that kind of a thing. Um, now I'll go back to our homepage, and uh, right before this, I created a calendar uh, from the merchant side. So basically, you can go to our site right now and create a free calendar using that button. Um, but I called it Meteor Coworking. And so from the business side of things, it's a little bit different. Uh, you have more functionality, and basically, um, you have a drag and drop functionality. So I've created these activities before. Um, you can create an activity, which is basically a template of uh, what your what your week uh, what you'll be offering, um, and you can pretty much drag and drop onto your calendar, set up these appointments, um, and there you go. I'm going to go onto the mobile app. I've got 40 seconds here. I'm going to show you guys. The mobile app is um, a separate media client that connects to the same DDP backend as the uh, desktop app, and therefore everything is um, also live and reactive. And we're going to show all activities. Uh, what week is that? So on July 2nd, you'll see right here, there's a beginner session, which is that same appointment. Um, mobile app, we can go in and book. Um, actually, I'll book with an account. And, um, oh, got kicked out there for a second. We can book and shows instantly right here that uh, that's the account I'm using was booked right there. Um, I can add a comment here and it'll you know go back and forth between the app. So right now we have a few businesses that are testing this live. Um, we just opened up last week to uh, like a, pretty much an open create, count, create account process and we encourage you guys to try it out and refer us to other people that you think you know could use the platform. So any questions? Uh, it's all custom code. Uh, we use, oh, the question was, are we using some sort of library for our calendar interface? Um, the only thing we're using is jQuery UI, draggable, droppable. Uh, before Blaze, we had a whole bunch of hacks to get that to work, but now it's easy. So. No, the mobile web app is all Meteor as well. Everything is Meteor. Um, the only difference is on the environment, uh, we set the DDP default connection URL to the desktop app. Uh, URL basically, and that way we didn't have to code any server side stuff on the mobile client. Uh, we basically didn't want to package up our whole desktop app with all that templates and client side code and serve it on the mobile because it'd be pretty big. Uh, were you doing payment integration as well? Uh, the question was are we doing payment integrations? And yes, that's on the to do list. Um, there is a package called Iron Router Transitioner, I believe. 
that goes between. Uh, yeah. Oh, the, the question was, how are you doing transitions on mobile? Anything else? So the, uh, the question was, what are the challenges we faced over uh, the development period? And uh, the first thing, like I talked about before, was the draggable, droppable. Uh, we had a lot of issues with Spark. Uh, once we got the calendar interface down, um, we have a lot of things going on in the background. We have reminder emails um, being sent out, stuff like that. So getting that to work uh, within the context of Meteor was uh, quite challenging. Um, we have like some API integrations with Mailgun, uh, Mixpanel, and a, f a few other things. Um, we had some optimization issues that we think we've solved, um, and that just had to do with a lot of a lot of extra data being served or pushed to the client. And you know, once we figured out exactly what our publish function should be, it was, uh, it was pretty simple. In terms of releasing the uh, the calendar, uh, releasing package? releasing the calendar as a package. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I <laughs> if I. Uh, if I had more free time, maybe. Uh, right now, it's pretty tightly integrated with the whole uh, system we have going on with slots and appointments and all of that. Um, so maybe in the future. <laughs> uh, there's a Meteor full calendar package that does meet uh, uh, calendars if you guys are curious. Yeah, we, yeah OK. He, uh, the question or the comment was that there's a Meteor full calendar package uh, that's also available. Uh, yeah, we thought about using that, decided to go uh, custom. Uh, because it fit a little bit better with our context. So how is Meteor on Windows? How is Meteor on Windows is the question. Um, I have a virtual box running, and <laughs> this is it. So basically, I uh, have to reconfigure my network every time I go to a different Wi-Fi router in this virtual box. So I'm going to get Mac soon. <laughs> Any other questions? OK, thank you. <laughs>